As most of you also know, Jeffrey Epstein was held accountable for his crimes before he uh, suicided himself, right? Suicided himself, okay. Blaine Maxwell also held accountable for her crimes. She's going to face at least 27 years in prison, maybe. We'll see about that. She might get out early. She's going to be in a nice prison. Meanwhile, keep in mind, Julian Assange faces 175 years in CIA black sites for exposing the most gruesome war crimes of U.S. officials. And also the egregious levels of corruption amongst most Western governments and some non-Western governments um, throughout his time as the head of WikiLeaks. So that, that's the balance of power, right? That's equity and justice in America. All right, but for those of you who don't know about that, for those of you who don't know about Balenciaga, what I want you to understand is that all of this happens for a reason. There's a reason why, you know, these criminals, these, you know, pedo criminals are left off the hook. There is a reason why Hunter Bi or Joe Biden's daughter gets caught. You know, it's leaked that she's uh, writing things in her journal about how she had inappropriate showers with her father that her father forced her to have allegedly when she was far too young for that sort of thing um nothing happens to him it's just like eh, you know no one talks about it in the press no it's just another tuesday another tuesday there's a reason why despite the fact that we saw jeffrey epstein and glenn maxwell end up behind bars none of their accomplices and we know there are accomplices we just don't know who they are have ever been arrested or held accountable the Biden administration right now has the ability to track every single transaction that you make. You know, they're going to have the IRS hiring 80, 87,000 new IRS agents to go after anyone who has more than $600 in a U.S. bank account. But they seemingly can't identify who the accomplices were that worked with Jeffrey Epstein and Glenn Maxwell in this interna international child sex trafficking ring. All right. Well, Balenciaga, if you don't know the story this week, they had a photo shoot that drew a lot of criticism and concern. Uh, June, Shu on Head posted this, and this was the tweet that went very viral. The brand Balenciaga just did a interesting photo shoot for their new products recently, which included a very purposely poorly hidden court document about virtual CP. Normal stuff. Okay. Let's take a look. So here are the photos. Clearly, you know, you have uh, a child, I guess, dressed in Balenciaga, holding a uh, teddy bear with bondage. Um, it, bondage, maybe some sort of like lingerie. I don't know what that is on, by its legs. Uh, but bondage, um, you know, kink fetish stuff, clothing items. Then you have empty wine glasses and alcohol glasses in front of the child. We, I think we can all understand what that's attempting to imply. Here you have a child on a bed with another teddy bear with this uh, bondage around the teddy bear uh, and Balenciaga clothing items and, and products on another bed with the child. Here, which is probably the most uh, concerning of all, you have a, a photo of a Balenciaga bag with some court documents strewn beneath it and the court documents as we will see in a second are actually from an infamous court case uh, surrounding CP and it mentions it explicitly in the papers that are uh, visible right here we'll look at that in a second um, you can see it closer there but I'll explain what this is she will uh, so yeah take a look at this yay is cancelled for you know his comments and Balenciaga actually cancelled him they stopped working with him but apparently this is good in the eyes of the mainstream media. I haven't heard a peep about this in the eyes of the mainstream media. So the Twitter clarification here says, although Shu often makes comments to cause amusement or laughter, this is authentic Balenciaga marketing uh, photographs. It contains an, ex an excerpt from the U.S. Supreme Court opinion in United States versus Williams, which upheld part of a federal uh, CP law. Okay, so it upheld a part, it was it was an effort to try and strike down CP on the internet and stuff like that, and it upheld part of a federal CP law, okay? So that's what they are explicitly deciding, purposefully deciding to put in their branding, their photos, as they take photos of little girls with teddy bears strapped in bondage, okay? But that's not all. 
Here's another photo of a young child dressed in Balenciaga with more bondage teddy bears in sight. And then you have this right here. You can let me uh, pull my screen off, my my camera off. You see that right there? It clearly says B A A L. Balenciaga. Now that's not how you spell Balenciaga, but the question is, why does it say say B A A L? That's not how you spell Balenciaga, so why did they purposefully decide to put that there? Well, the answer, again, is uh, pretty concerning. This conclusively proves that this all goes higher than the photographer. If the photographer slipped a CP court document in a shoot, that's one thing. But a Balenciaga factory had to print this tape. What the fuck? Just notice a lot more stuff. Going to spend the next couple hours going deep into the picture. Uh, thread, in, thread I'm going to do tonight on my discoveries will be good as... Uh, time as any to include all my research on weird fascist and t satanic shit in high fashion. Most of my research so far has been on Fendi. Also, just in case it wasn't obvious, what is Baal? Well, Baal is a Canaanite deity who kids were ritualistically sacrificed to. And as you saw in the image above, it says Baal right there. And they misspelled Baal Balenciaga to put that right there. Now, some of you might be saying, Jackson, okay, that's a little bit tinfoil hat. This is a little bit tinfoil hat conspiracy theorist. Well, this is just the tip of the iceberg. I mean, it shouldn't be a surprise to you that given all the Epstein, Glenn, Maxwell shit, given everything we know about their accomplices, given everything we know about the World Economic Forum, we're literally controlled by satanic, you know, uh, pedo elite. This is, this is not a shocking thing to say. Um, and this, if anything, proves it, that one of the most recognizable, uh, noteworthy, high fashion brands that many top celebrities uh, model for and wear regularly is doing something like this. I think it just goes further to prove it. But again, the story goes a little bit further here. So here we have Twitter user uh, Natalie Denise, who found a pretty interesting part of the story. So here you can see another model in the photo shoot, Balenciaga, the court documents are strewn on the table. These are the CP court documents right there, as you can see. And you see a book by Michael Borman in the foreground. Now, who is Michael Borman? You might be wondering. There's some photos of uh, art related to the work of Michael Borman right there. Uh, type in search engine Michael Borman's. Uh, trigger warning, it's pretty bad. So, Balenciaga had this Michael Borman's book laying out in the office desk to the side of the redhead model. Look at these themes, y'all. Can't make this up even if you tried. Now, again, I'm going to let you look at these photos on your own time if you'd like to. I'm not going to go into detail showing them here. But as you can see, they have a pretty common um, theme of Satanism, paganism, cult cultish, you know, rituals, especially involving children. Okay, so seriously, the paintings are so bad. Themes of pedophilia, blood ritual, dark uh, re religious religio religiosity, occultism, racism, so on and so forth. Balencia Balenciaga at this point needs to beg for mercy. We need to see them address the public for these sick pedo uh, vor themes in their 23 campaign. We will bow the need to no pervasive society. Okay, no more sexualization.